So you want one of the best weapons you can get early in the game to help you destroy everything in Valheim? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you exactly how to get this wonderful hammer. So the weapon we're talking about today is the Stag Breaker. This is a blunt weapon. It is a two-handed weapon. And this is going to be really amazing for farming skeletons or defending yourself in dungeons and skeletons throughout the world. Now, one of the reasons I absolutely love this weapon is because of it does AoE damage, but it also has a knockback and stagger effect. Now, this does an absolute ton of damage to skeletons. And when you're having to farm up these dungeons early in the game for various resources like the forge, you're gonna need to be killing a lot of skeletons. And you might get trapped between a bunch of them in these dungeons. And that knockback and stun comes in clutch. Now, locating the material you're going to need to make this is actually really easy, and you can do it really early in the game. Now, you will need to venture into or near the Blackwoods to be able to find this. Um, you don't actually have to fight anything in the Blackwoods, uh, but we're going to be looking for specific trees. And when you look at the trees, you can see that there's fir. Uh, but what we want are these pine trees. They, you can tell the difference because the texture will be different on the trunk and the leaves aren't um, until like much higher up on the tree. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for pine trees and you can find them on the edge of the Blackwood forests. Now, all the different types of trees uh, will drop various different resources that you can use to be able to craft different stuff. And we definitely need the cores from these pine trees be able to craft this hammer. This will also give you some building upgrades and stuff like that. Oh god, just don't let the tree <laughs> run you over and kill you, because that is totally a thing in this game. So once we finally break it all apart, you're going to see this stuff called core wood. That's going to be what you need to unlock a bunch of new crafting recipes to include this giant hammer of awesomeness. Now, while you're out here, you're going to want to make sure to gather at least 20 of them, because it's going to take 20 to be able to craft the hammer. But there's also something else I want to mention about weapons in this game. Different weapons have different effectiveness uh, for various targets. These blunt weapons are going to be best against skeletons. They're okay against like gray dwarves, but not very good. If you want to be killing gray dwarves, you really want to use spears. I find them to be most effective. They just tear apart these graylings. But for skeletons, you're going to want this hammer especially early on in the game. Now, once you get your 20 core wood, you're going to also want to pick up five deer trophies, which you can get from killing deer. And then leather scraps, you're going to need two of those from killing boars. Now, once you do that, you can craft that. And the upgrading process for this uh, is pretty straightforward too. It's just more core wood, more deer trophies, leather scraps, and then you're going to need bone fragments for the upgrades too. But you're going to get plenty of bone fragments because you're going to be using this to kill skeletons. Oh enough. my god, Skids, why did you bring all the gray dwarves to the house? <laughs> Skids, why would you do this? Oh, the pigs are mad too! I didn't do it. Stamp totally did this, it's your fault. <laughs> no, it's Skids. Definitely Skids. Wait a minute, hold on a second, hold on a second. What's uh -huh. the common denominator between this time and the last time that this happened? <laughs> Wait, this happened to you guys Skids? before? Yeah. yeah. I just had a. Was at the house. Level. <laughs> so it's. So yeah, it is your fault. Asmo died too. <laughs> you did. What? Did you get Hulk yeah. smashed, Asmo? Something like that. Ah, uh, come here, Grey Dwarf. Take my big Chungus hammer to the face. Stamp, you made a sword. That's where all the bronze went. No. Yeah. It's <laughs> barely any bronze. Lies. Also, you know, I went and got all the copper. Shut your face. <laughs> you dirty bronze thief. <laughs> so apparently your house can get raided by enemies. Uh, I didn't know that, and that's kind of terrifying. Now, I do want to show off how amazing this is for clearing out dungeons. The downside of this particular weapon is you can hold a torch in your other hand while you're using this one. So it's going to make the dungeons pretty dark, but on the flip side of it, it's going to be super easy to solo stuff. We need these coins. We still need to find the trader on this map so we can get some of the cool items. But uh, 
is just so good in the dungeons. Because a lot of times, you'll get skeletons that pop up behind you, so it's going to stun them as well. And it just makes clearing out these super easy. Oh, you want to go, bro? You think you can mess with me, boy? You're going to explode. Now, the downside is uh, blunt weapons are not good with against ghosts. So if you do encounter ghosts, you're going to want like a, a piercing weapon against them. So just keep that in mind for when you're uh, doing these dungeons. Because there are, as I mentioned earlier, weapons that are better against certain targets. That ghost really messed me up. Tell you what. There we go. Stupid archer coming around that corner. Ooh, what do we got going on in here? This is one messed up room. We got some amber pearls. Pretty sweet. More amber. And I believe this is going to locate, yeah, the elder who we have not defeated yet. But I think we are ready to defeat it and we'll be doing that pretty soon too. Well, that dungeon was super easy and that is the stag breaker for you. Now, once again, you do want to farm up those dungeons to get these right here, which are the certling cores you'll be able to make your forge uh and then you'll be able to smelt down the copper and tin into ingots to be able to make bronze tier items which will help you unlock a whole bunch of new stuff in valheim um but definitely definitely get the stag hammer it is super good and i do hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one